Good afternoon, all. CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, May 25th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile, SPY, WMN, Triple Qs. So, a lot of things to get through today. Uh, we have another price void all over the place. We end only eight wide, which I won't ignore, but I don't carry that forward. I'm not using J's in afternoon pullback low and SPY, just too close to the day's low. You could use it for Russell and Qs. Qs also end uh, nine wide. We had a chance for a nice price spike above C's high. That got violated. We had a chance for trend A up in SPY in B period, in K period, in L period, and they all got filled. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. But we did take back a lot of the single prints from the 18th. We didn't fill them. We leave 40-something cents or whatever. But we did get into them. Russell actually filled theirs and got into the upper distribution but did not get acceptance above it. And triple Qs didn't come anywhere near those single prints yet. Now, here in the video, earnings are out today. I think they come out at 420. We'll see how the market reacts to that, obviously. Costco earnings are out tomorrow. You know, these big companies have gotten bashed. So, so what did the market do today? I was a little surprised that we opened where we did and then took, came right back above the base of the price probe and spent the whole day basically above the price probe and above yesterday's high. It looked like the market was waiting for an all-clear from those Fed minutes as long as there's no surprise in them to try to go higher. And that's what happened. I mean, this again, these things should be released at 8.30 a.m., okay? There's no reason they shouldn't be released at 8.30. To just waste all day and then have a 30-minute time frame is just foolishness. I can't imagine how many people get chopped up before we finally get some direction. And even that direction didn't hold as M took it back for the most part. So I think the market is is poised and primed to attempt to take back the rest of that trend day from the 18th and go take out um, possibly a test the weekly high and get the 20-day moving average. Again, that could all go out the window based on uh, NVIDIA and Costco earnings if the market sees these things blow up again. I had a good day trading. I didn't do much in the afternoon, and that's fine. I took a short and A period. Uh, now, I got caught. Again, I said I was going to do it, and I told the room I really don't want to take the heat up to uh, the day's high. Guess what? I took the heat up to the day's high. Now, it was only small to start, and I got up to 90, and I was getting hurt, but not bad. And then before we took out the day's high, a pulled back nicely enough to make me get paid very nicely. Did nothing in B. Actually lost on a small short in C. Um, I didn't think we'd hold single prints. Took the short. Then we went out and made a new high. End up taking it off. I'm sorry. Time out. Totally was wrong on that. I took a long in C. And then I said to myself, we're getting close to Monday's high, which is a four-day balance high. The minutes come out at two. Are we really going to have single prints in C and B? Now, I didn't take the long up here. I took it close to the B's high. But I wasn't liking it. I took it off and actually reversed and took a nice 40-put play short because I thought eventually the singles would fill. And then in C and D, they did, and I did well on that. Sorry about that. So I took the long first, lost small on it, reversed to the put play, and, made, and did well on that. Now, D period, I could have shorted B's high a ton of times. I didn't do it, but I could have. It would have been a nice risk-reward against out above B's high to see them come down, finally fill the singles, and then E flushed out. I did take a long in E against value low at the time, just a small one, 393 call. Um, I did get bigger when it pushed a little lower, and it worked out as it went back up. F period. I took a long when we came down to go back to POC. Again, 393 calls. I thought even if POC was going to get lowered, which it did, we'd have an opportunity to go back to it. Didn't go back to exactly where it was, but went back far enough where I made money on both those longs. I didn't think we were going to fall out of bed as we got closer to 2 o'clock prior to the minutes. So had a very nice put play of 90 in A, a nice 40 put play in C, and a nice, uh, I didn't get really big. I think it was only 30, I think it was 30. The most I was in F was 30, but it still paid me. And then I took one other play. I took two small shorts in K, made on the first one. Because I'm like, let them prove they want to go trend. Second one started getting more momentum, took it off for a small loss. And then they did go trend, although it ended up filling. And that was it. I didn't do anything in LRM. As far as destinations, upside is 399.45, today's high. 
There are no single prints. They now start at $399.46 and get filled at $0.93 cents from May 18th. And then $403.80 daily high. Um, for the downside, we have $391.89, today's low. So believe it or not, we're, we have nothing until today's low. I'm not going to ignore the 8 wide or, or maybe even the J low, but I don't think these are firm things to carry forward because I want 9 wide or more, and this is too close to the day's low. Then we have 39092, which is the 9 wide from yesterday, and you should have everything else I gave you from yesterday. And then on the chart, now, again, this is subjective. A lot of people will still call the daily balance. We close back in. Actually, yeah, we close back inside of Monday's range. But I'm going to give the buyers their due. I'm going to call it, I was calling it a four-day balance coming in, uh, you know, today. I'm going to call them up for today. Now, plain and simple, if we take out today's low tomorrow, we're right back to balance. And it would be a five-day balance, including tomorrow. But if we take out today's high, it's firmly up, and we should go fill those single prints and then test the 20 day moving average and that's kind of what i'm looking for unless those uh companies really really disappoint now most of them have been disappointing so there's a good chance it could happen but again it remains to be seen thanks for the likes and subscribing to the channel hope you had a good day trading enjoy your evening and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow